What if I told you that people are worried about Kamora Lee Simmons? What if I told you that she saw what happened to Cassie and she may want to put a cloak of protection around her? And what if I told you the reason she wants to put that cloak of protection around her is because at this point, two of her friends, good friends, both had huge arguments with Diddy and neither of them are here. Both passed away in their houses. Both deaths were unexplained. And to top it off, both of them were bridesmaids at her wedding. And what if I told you the same man who both of her two best friends, her bridesmaids, had an argument with before they passed away was the same man that had threatened to harm her while she was pregnant. And what if I told you the only thing that saved her from this man was the fact that at one time she was married to Russell Simmons, the most powerful man, this before Puffy man, in hip hop. And when she left, and Russell Simmons put her, said, leave my wife alone, even though, yes, I know he has his own things because <laughs> if you don't know anything about Russell Simmons, go and Google it or let me know if you want me to make a video. It's going to be a surviving Russell part 86 by the time we're done with it. But let me get up back on point. And what if I told you that after she left Russell, she met another rich man who, oddly enough, is under federal. <laughs> He's testifying right now because he robbed half the country of Malaysia. Um, okay, but let's get back. Yes, Kamora Lee can pick him, but let's get back into Kamora's safety. People are saying that Kamora is in danger. If you guys don't know, her one best friend that was her bridesmaid that actually passed away after they got in an argument with Diddy is Kim Porter. Kim Porter was rumored to be writing a tell-all book. Now, this has been confirmed through various sources that knew Kim Porter, that she was writing a book. This was supposed to be a tell-all. Kim Porter magically passed away. Now, the thing about it is, okay, we're going to get into this. She passed away mm, a couple of weeks after Halloween. She passed away a couple of weeks after Halloween. She was looking good, feeling good. Nobody knew anything about it. She went to a doctor, right? She went to a doctor that gave her an IV. She passed away just days later from pneumonia. Now, Puffy says he got a call from Kim saying, just look after my kids, you know, because she wasn't feeling well. So the kids went over to his house and she was like, yo, Puff, look after my kids or Diddy, look after my kids. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to do that. But what happened after that leaves even more questions, because even though she passed away, the kids were taken to school. She was supposed to be sleeping. Kamora Lee went over to her house and found her. Kamora Lee herself. You guys, hold on. I'm about to do a plot twist for your booty. Just hold on. Kamora Lee found her and saw that she was not awake and literally was pictured sobbing outside the house. Her heart was broken. This was a girl that she looked at as her sister. Even when she gave the Instagram post commemorating her death, she was like, we will never stop crying for you. I love you forever. You were taken way too soon, my sister. The love was deep, so deep. She was one of the bridesmaids at Kamora Lee's wedding to Russell Simmons. They came up in the game. They endured countless indignities, as well as endured countless riches. They were both admired, but were both living with alleged monsters. And at the whim of it, let's not forget Kamora Lee Simmons started dating Russell Simmons when she was 14 or 15. Yeah, that man had some problems. But let's get back into the story. Everybody thought it was so odd, okay? For one, she had looked good. She had felt good. What could have gone wrong? Kamora Lee herself, even a little while later, there are reports that she called for her case to be reopened because she was sure that something else had happened, that it wasn't natural. We'll get back to why she wanted it. That has to do with her second best friend that passed away also after getting an argument with Diddy. But let's get into Kim because I feel like a lot of these um I feel like a lot of these things are actually looked over cuz we really need to get into Kamora's mind and if she is alarmed like people say she is, why? Okay? 
She died from low bar pneumonia, according to a coroner's report obtained by Us Weekly. The report also noted that the manner of her death was natural. Lobar pneumonia is an infection of the lung caused by bacteria. Immune cells evade the air spaces where the oxygen is taken in. And this is accompanied by a necrosis, that is the death of cells. Pneumonia decreases the lung's ability to take in oxygen, oxygen and over time it causes sev- uh, sudden death. Now according to the report, Kim went to a doctor days before she passed a bit away with cold flu-like symptoms. Okay. A nurse also visited her home and gave her a saline solution with vitamins. She was found dead in her home. We all know the tragedy that uh, fell over her. Puffy gave an emotional eulogy. He literally launched a second resurgence of his career. Puffy made the jump from New York City party promoter slash producer, blah, 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 into mainstream America with the death of Biggie. With the death of Kim, his career was staggering. People know who he was. He was making money as a businessman, but they kind of weren't looking for him as a performer or entertainer. He then made a whole resurgence, literally playing the dad on dad duty. You know, I lost, lost the love of my life. Why didn't I appreciate you when I was there? Black love forever. Isn't that what he posted in his Instagram? However, right Kim was said to go to a private doctor. If you don't know what private doctors are, they make house calls, they do this, they do that. They're doctors that just take a select number of um, clients. No, you cannot book them on ZocDoc. But here's the thing. A lot of people are like, what's going on when she has pneumonia? Because if you don't know, pneumonia is one of the easiest things to detect by a doctor. She sought treatment just days before from a doctor. He did not test her from a pneumonia. You can put a stethoscope, stethoscope sorry, on the chest and you can actually tell. The doctor can just tell you to breathe in and out and they can hear the pneumonia. If she was so sick that the pneumonia was so late stage that it would cause her to pass away, a lot of people said, why didn't the doctor hear it, right? If she sought treatment days before, why would then a nurse just come and give her a vitamin drip? You know, when you die of pneumonia, like you have a high fever, you look like you are on death's door. Pneumonia is not a silent killer. I'll tell you that much. But that's when people started to turn to the doctor. Because if you remember from Cassie's complaint, Cassie actually said that every single time she was hurt, Every single time she was so inebriated on drugs, every single time she may have OD'd, they didn't go to just any old doctor. He either had private doctors that Cassie had to go to because she had to share what was in her medical reports with Diddy at all time. This goes from internal exams, um, when she suffered from memory loss, concussions, Everything that was in her medical chart was delivered directly to Diddy because he wanted to know what was going on in her head, in her body, everywhere. Do you really think that he didn't do that with Kim Porter? I think he did. I think that the doctor Kim Porter went to was also one of Diddy's private doctors. They went to approved doctors. Now, you could say maybe Puffy had Kim Porter on the same mess Cassie did. But here comes the plot twist. What if I told you that when Kim Porter, Kim Porter was first uh, pronounced dead, and everybody was like, "This can't be what happened." She was just healthy a few days ago. That there was an autopsy ordered, and what if I told you that the coroner that first did the autopsy for Kim, I believe the name is Ed Wintour. What if I told you, right? That that coroner at Winter that first did the autopsy on Kim found something odd in her autopsy. There was traces of some type of toxic substance. So there was something showing up. But it was at such a trace amount that he wanted to conduct further testing. And what if I told you that he was taken off of Kim Porter's autopsy and a new coroner put on shortly after Puffy, I'm sorry, not Puffy, Kim, was found to have passed away from pneumonia. A pneumonia that a doctor, a nurse, and everybody around her missed. Hmm. 
What if I told you that? And what if I told you that Ed Winter, the corner to the stars, right? Died a year after he did the autopsy on Kim. What if I told you that? Ed Winter, corner of the stars, passed away at age 73. Now, what if I told you that Ed Winter, who investigated celebrity deaths for near, over nearly two decades of work in Hollywood, died from unspecified natural causes. What if I told you that? Hmm? What if I told you that? He died, I believe, March 19th, 2023 few months after Kim Porter did. What if I told you that? Hmm. Now let's get into what is the second. Because again, thing, it just needs to be called surviving Diddy. There is so many things hanging over. Everyone around that man passes away from mysterious as natural deaths. This is why people are saying Kamora Lee is concerned. This is why Kamora Lee posted on her Instagram. She wants to start. A, she want, Let's pull it up. Kamora Lee actually went to her Instagram after Cassie came out and posted a beautiful picture of Kim Porter as a kid. And she said, starting a girl gang of women aggressively supporting other women. So hands up if you want in, because if we get enough people, we're totally getting jackets. People said that Kamora thought about what happened to Cassie. She thought about what happened to Kim. And people said that she still had questions and she wanted answers. But Cassie proved that the more eyes that are on somebody like Diddy, the safer you are. She also posted strawberries in the shape of hearts, which many people thought she meant love, which many people thought was a pointed, a pointed promised to Diddy that she didn't forget and that things were adding up. Let's get into also the second person that Diddy got into a heated argument with that wrote a book that I mentioned that Kim said she was writing a book that wrote a book about Diddy that Diddy did not appreciate. Who was that girl? Her name was Erica. She was a beautiful woman. Gorgeous. All of their friends were Kim, Kamora, Erica. I guess they were all old models. They were doing it. But let's talk about Erica Kennedy. Erica worked in fashion in the music industry. As a media writer, a blogger, and a publicist for Sean John Fashion Line. She was also the best friend of Kamora Lee Simmons and was a bridesmaid in her wedding. And Erica Kennedy was godmother to her daughter, Aoki. In 2004, Erica wrote a satire fictional book called Bling, which was about the music industry and based around a flamboyant hip-hop music mogul who signs a very young female artist to his label and begins to date her and control her. The book was allegedly loosely based on Diddy and his lifestyle, and when he found this out, he wasn't too happy about it. Some say he wanted Erica gone. However, Erica was found gone, deceased, in her apartment in 2012. To this day, they have never confirmed how she passed away. Fast forward again, let me take you on a trip. They, know, they said it was unspecified natural causes, but they were never able to ascertain why. Now fast forward back to 2018. You have Kim, best friend to Kimora, was also in her wedding, found deceased in her home. The original autopsy ruled that there were toxins found in Kim and that they may be linked to her passing. A coroner, the coroner was reassigned. And only then, after the coroner, Ed Winter, was reassigned, was it ruled pneumonia. Again, it was alleged that Kim at the time was getting ready to tell a tell-all book about Diddy. 
It made sense in that case because Kimura, if this is true, would have known about the book. And why Kimura found Kim's sudden passing to be so disturbing and unbelievable. And why Kimura wants the case reopened for investigation. You guys. Again, Erica, Erica, um, excuse me, Erica Kennedy even said herself, Everybody kept talking about how scandalous the book was. I really didn't see the big deal. I knew I could write a story about a P. Diddy party. She's writing stories about the party. And show these people what scandal is really about. You guys. She also tweeted, the Cassie, this undercover Diddy Cassie situation is so Lamont Mimi. Those were the protagonists of her book. It's really freaking me out. You guys, the book was pinned. It was released in 2004. However, the most thing, the biggest thing is we don't know whether it was Cassie or not, but clearly he had certain behavior patterns. And years later, she tweeted comparing Diddy and Cassie to Lamont and Mimi. She passed away shortly after. Listen, you guys, I don't know what's going on with Puffy. I do hope Kamora does get things reopened. I hope that everybody stays safe. And I hope that everybody has the courage to stand tall and stick together. Because one thing that we have learned, this might be all a coincidence. But this is a heck of a coincidence. I'll leave you with this. Maybe Kamora knows more than anyone knows. And maybe she has other priorities. Let's not forget that Diddy's twins are now staying at her house. Now, they were always very close to her. She never stopped seeing them, but the twins are now staying at her house. Super odd if your dad was innocent, wouldn't you say? Super odd if something was going on. I'm telling you guys, the sharks are circling Diddy, and he has no one to blame but himself. His world is falling apart, and everybody's starting to see that the reason Diddy was able to go crazy and perpetrate all this on people is because everybody stayed quiet. And also Kanye might be right. He might be feds. Because honestly, he might be feds at this point. But everybody stayed quiet. And everybody became an Erica Kennedy, became an Ed Winter, became a Kim Porter. It's only when you shine light on evil do you ever actually open heaven's gates? I know that didn't make sense, but it sounded dramatic and I really, really liked it. Again, you guys, pray for Kamora Simmons. People, Lee Simmons, people say that there is an issue. She knows too many of Puffy's problems. Puffy might be spiraling because his whole world is falling apart. What do you guys think? I think where there's smoke, there's brother love. Y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.